Run 500 instances of the protein test task with distinct samples. If it has not completed one hour after commencement, cancel it. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the cancel multiple instance activity pattern. Within a given process instance, multiple instances of a task can be created. The required number of instances is known at design time. These instances are independent of each other and run concurrently. At any time the multiple instance task can be cancelled and any instances which have not completed are withdrawn. Task instances that have already completed are unaffected. No tasks subsequent to the cancel task are enabled. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. Okay, here we start our instance and um, we have now the multiple instance task here and currently we have three instances here so we can finish them and if we finish all of them we will continue to the last task. Okay, next we will see that we can add additional instances while the multiple instance task is running so I can complete two and then I can add another one and still another one and if I cancel this you can see that the last task is not executed. In BPMN we can model this with a boundary interrupting event. In this example we choose a timer boundary event. We have added a task after the multi-instance task to show that this is cancelled if we cannot complete the 500 instances within the hour. So here is our BPMN diagram. We have a multi-instance task called run protein test and after that we have write test report. And here we have an interrupting boundary timer event so after one hour this will cancel the run protein test task. Any remaining instances will not be executed and we will also not execute write test report in that case because we will finish here with test unsuccessful. Instead of a timer boundary event we could have chosen other flavors like message, escalation or signal events. Thank you for watching.